Good morning, everybody. So, um, we are now all packed up. We are in the car and we are ready to head towards Beachwood. We're going to have some uh, coffee, breakfast there, um, get some honey, check out some bees, and then we'll head off to Bright. So, last night it was uh, quite a comfortable night at the cabins. However, the hay fever kicked in uh, thanks to all the pollens that we were exposed to at, uh, at our short trail that we went for yesterday and uh, at Pine, Gu Pine Gully uh, nature trail so there was a lot of um, um, uh, wild spring flowers uh, that and I suppose that sort of triggered the, the hay fever um, symptoms last night however it was still a very comfortable night in the cabins so this morning we packed up we went to Coles got a bit of um, uh, food um, so that we could have a bit of a picnic in bright and all set to go now so thank you and stay tuned Hello, so we are at the Beechwood Pantry. We were hoping to go to the Beechwood Bakery for breakfast, but unfortunately they uh, closed for dining. So we walked around, all the uh, cafes seem to be really packed, so we are grateful to find a spot here at the Beechwood Pantry. So we have just uh, ordered our breakfast and we are going to have breakfast and then we are going to go and check out the bees at the Beechwood uh, with honey and also go and check out the, the um, gold mines. There's apparently an expedition happening there and it's free entry today so we're going to check that out and we'll head off to uh, Bright after that. So we just finished having our breakfast and now we are walking in the Beachwood town. We're going to go and check out some bees now at the Beachwood honey. So as you can see, it's pretty busy today. Um, lots of the cafes are all packed. Lots of guys on the motorbikes here today. Beautiful day to ride. It's about 25 degrees now. So nice day, good temperature. And uh, really nice vibes going on here. So the boys are Petting a dog there. So Beechwood is a is an old town, uh, very popular back in the day um, because it they used to mine gold here. So it's very historical now. Uh, you get basically it's just a lot of tourism happening here. The old gold mines are now closed. You can go and have a look at them. Um, Beechwood is known for the Beechwood Bakery, which uh, is very popular amongst the Victorians. You have them almost in every town. Um, the one that I normally go to is the Beechwood Bakery in Hillsville, but the original Beechwood Bakery is just down that end, near the uh, clock tower. Um, we've also got the Beechwood Honey, which is very popular and we are heading towards there now so there you see Beechworth honey 100% Australian honey always so let's go check that out so we 
we are in. This is the beach with honey. <coughs> A variety of honey available. Really well presented. So got lip balm made out of honey. All sorts of flavors. Specs candles. And they also have got tours here for kids. So as you can see, the next tour is in five minutes. So that's a general tour with the peacekeepers. And what's fun is this you actually get to look at a beehive and you get to see the bees how's that Mira Mavi? cool? awesome awesome i just yeah. hope that i don't get stung by that no you won't get stung i think a bee um like uh, is a, a wild animal it needs like the chemistry and if it uh, i think it never escapes and See how it goes through that small little hole there? Yeah, that's how, and that's where they make honey. So they all, so without this, they can't make honey. Yeah. But, oh my god, mom. But dad, Yeah. Oh, uh, why, why don't they bring them inside them? No, because it's natural. They want the bees to be able to fly and go in, and go in, uh, what do you call, uh, get the nectar from any, any flowers and so on and bring it back to the hive. Why don't they put the flowers here? They, there's no flowers here, so the bees can fly and go wherever they want. They're not, ma yeah, but they're not many. There's not enough. They'll come back because the queen bee, the queen bee, the queen bee is in here, so the bees will always come back to their hive. Yeah, so in every hive there's one queen bee, and the bees will always come back to the hive where their queen bee is. So they'll never go away, even though if they go out to look for honey, to look for nectar, when they come back, they'll always come back to their... The queen bee, yes, that's right. Also, the queen bee... No, no, they always come back to the queen bee because of loyalty. So there you go. Um, Pretty interesting. I love this place. We normally come and uh, get lots of honey that will last us for a few months at least. Um, you can have them on toast, you can have them in tea, or you can just even have them just like that. Um, they say that uh, for hay fever, it's also good that you get uh, some of the honeycombs and you munch them. Especially from the um, from the uh, area that you're living in, because uh, that sort of has the the, the pollens of uh, of your 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 <coughs> your normal area, and hence it helps you build a bit of resistance to it. So pretty cool. You can also get beetroot honey in the um, supermarkets, but not the variety that you find here. So we are here now joining the honey tour. So this is a interactive tour on how honey is made.
interesting stuff here. So basically they've got like two or three rooms here and uh, um, in every room there is a screen and we get a short presentation. So the first screen was um, what, the, what we discovered here was about more about the history of Beechworth honey and here we're going to look at the other processes. So now we are in the third room. This is a, an example of the honey factory where they actually bottle all the honey and there is a show, there will be a presentation starting here shortly after the one in this room. So let's go watch the presentation. So we are done with all the talks so now we just in the last phase of the tour and a bit of history here Jan Robinson one of the founders Stephen and Jody Goldsworthy are now looking after the business they've won a number of awards Right, are we ready to go? Yep. So definitely uh, worth your time. The tour is really good and lots to learn. So we just finished with the Beechworth Bakery and also the Beechworth Honey. We went for the honey tour and I'm sure you guys will have enjoyed that. The short presentation that we filmed. We've got enough honey now for the next few months uh, we bought a big tub a three kilo tub uh, for our daily use and uh, that will last us for some time um, we were hoping to uh, do the uh, the Beechworth uh, gold tour uh, but we are running out of time so we will probably have to uh, skip that for next time uh, it's almost one o'clock now so we want to head to Bright and uh, and go head towards the river, the stream, and uh, get a little wet in the splash park, and hopefully have a bit of a dip in the in the river. So Bright is another lovely town, and uh, as I mentioned, it's our little happy place. So looking forward to go down there. We are all set for our picnic so we'll set up our picnic and uh, relax there so yeah Beechworth is uh, definitely a nice place to come over the weekend um, if you're in Melbourne it's about a three and a half hour drive to get here but it's a nice lovely town you could almost spend the whole day here easily uh, by the time you have breakfast lunch uh, go for the gold tour the, the honey tour and enjoy some of the uh, the the sceneries around here and also the architecture 
So that's it. Thank you.